Howdy, it's Uncle Paul. Whether you exercise or not, it is important, I believe, to keep your body moving. So that's how mine and Hurley's morning routine gets started. Before I come out and see him, I heat up some coffee in the microwave because the pot doesn't keep it quite as hot as I'd like. So I put it in there and heat it up for about 30 seconds. Hurley can hear everything that goes on in the kitchen. So he knows what I'm doing and he likes to sit or lay down outside of the window there, the kitchen window. And uh, he knows I'm getting ready to come out and I tap on the window when I'm ready. And uh, so he knows I'm coming. When I first began my YouTube channel in April of 2016, I could not walk one lap around this church building out here. Uh, I couldn't even hardly walk. I lived in my own house and I couldn't hardly walk out to the driveway to get in the truck without really uh, breathing hard and things, my feet hurting. It was really bad and I hadn't been in that bad of a shape in a long time. So I had determined that it was time to, to start working on losing weight and getting into some decent shape. Since I really couldn't walk real well and for long distances, the main thing I did was just kept my body moving. You go look at my very first few videos and I talk about it a little bit, which meant just getting up, taking a break when I had to, but getting up and doing chores around the house, whether it was mowing the yard, I might have to take several breaks, or just cleaning the house, whatever it took, uh, just keep the body moving as much as possible. And gradually I worked my way up to being able to walk around that church building. I had to, uh, when I first started to, to do a lap, I had to sit down uh, on the steps on the other side of the building uh, and then come on around uh, to make one lap. So uh, it was very difficult to, to get to used to walking uh, to where then I could walk up to quite a few miles. So even though I can walk a lot, thankfully, I need to be able to walk a lot more, working on that still, as you know, uh, I still want to keep the body moving as much as possible. And I do have responsibilities around the house. I'm living with my brother's family now. And so I try to do my part when it comes to straightening up the house, cleaning the house, uh, things like that, doing yard work, as you've seen a little bit of. So, uh, you know, today, for instance, I've picked up in here in the living room. It's Monday. And uh, um, I've I went ahead and vacuumed. Uh, my sister-in-law, she works a full-time job and she's got the kids and she's got a lot of things that she's got to do. And uh, so we all obviously try to do our part and I, I'm the same about that. So, uh, so it's, it's Monday and all the cooking that we did yesterday, I did some cooking, they did a lot of cooking. And so the kitchen was a little bit of a mess as can happen. And so I, today I went ahead and and uh, worked on the kitchen and cleaned up uh, the counters and things like that. Uh, the sink was definitely full and I put those in the dishwasher. They're done. I'm about to unload it and put in some more items. So, so that's just part of, of what a person can do, especially if you really can't get out there and walk like for a time I couldn't do. Uh, just get up, do a little bit of chores around the house, sweeping the floor uh, like I did in here this morning, vacuuming, just those little things. Go sit down when you need to take a break. If you keep pushing yourself to, to just move the body, it will eventually get a little bit easier as time goes by and then you can uh, then walk around uh, that church building or, or that track, you know, the park or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. 
Reagan has a couple of friends who rent a house, and he's over there every now and then, and they all love to play horseshoes. So Reagan's building a couple of horseshoe pits. Notice the railroad ties. He's planning on cutting those in half with a handsaw, and those are going to be the backstop for the horseshoe pit. So good luck with that. But I want to tell you about Hurley. Hurley is such a good dog that when the gate is open he doesn't even try to get out of it even when nobody's there and it's been accidentally left open Hurley still doesn't get out so I'm real pleased about that okay got me another book in the mail today I know that this book is going to be over my head, at least uh, much of it is until I can digest it, but you know, I have books, exercise books that teach me how to lift weights and, and how to do the strength training and the flexibility training on all of that, uh, but this is going to give me more information, more detail about you know the science, I guess, of, of why I'm training the way I'm training, you know, what it is that I'm working on and how to do it and the benefits, the real benefits of it and, and how not to maybe hurt myself, you know, know specifically what I'm working on and, and how to improve. Well, you know, the boys have been working on the boat uh, or had been over the summer and they kind of got to a point where they could do all they could do without uh, getting up some more money <laughs> to fix some things. So, uh, but they s left many of their tools still sitting out here, another paraphernalia, and there's other things. It's just kind of a mess out here on the back patio. So I think that I will clean up the patio. Well, I've seen this done on other videos, so let me try it. Well, let me try it one more time. <clears throat> Well, I guess I'm just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, well, it is not perfect, but it is definitely better and uh, a little bit more comfortable out here. Uh, now it's time to get out of this heat for a little bit. So this is for FFA, you said? Built-in FFA. Built-in FFA, all right. 106 and 108. Okay, so I'm ordering... The Hill Country Smoked Sausage Links, that is what you got, right? Yes. Mark down. Those I got last year, they were good. And also the Country Style Premium Pork Breakfast Sausage, also very good. So, all right, looking forward to that already. <laughs> Well, so this morning was just a little bit different. It's Saturday morning, and uh, <laughs> it was raining pretty hard, so he wasn't laying outside the, the kitchen window uh, listening for me. He was in his doghouse. He was still snoozing. Can you believe that? Good Sunday morning. Well, wouldn't you know, the day after I wash my truck, it rains hard twice. A lot of mud around. 
but that's okay. I'll watch it again if I need to. Well, uh, Reagan did get those uh, horseshoe pits completed, and he got them uh, in at his buddy's house in their backyard. You know, we've got this uh, sand pit out here, basically. It's it's a raised sand pit. My brother did that years ago, and the, he would put uh, an inflatable pool out there every season, every summer for the boys. And it just works perfectly sitting on that sand. So Reagan asked me the other day, he said, Uncle Paul, do you think Dad would mind if uh, if I took some sand out of that sand pit uh, to take it over and use it for the horseshoe pits? <laughs> I said, uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to mind that. So got to keep my eye on those nephews. Uh, well, you may have heard that Grumpy is off the trail. He and I started back in mid-August of this year on the Appalachian Trail. And if you haven't heard, he's off the trail now. He hurt his knee. He's not extremely disappointed about it, actually, because he got about 300 miles in on this trip. And he got, like, a total now from February when he first started of, like, 370 miles, something like that. And he's happy with that, but he considers himself a section hiker now, he said. And, and so, who knows, maybe next year or sometime in the future, we'll be able to hook up and do a little bit more on the Appalachian Trail. And hopefully, I can do better <laughs> uh, in the future and get more mileage under my belt. But, guys, the main point this week... If you know, especially for those who can't uh, do a regular routine or not much of one of exercise, is to just get up off the couch, get out of the chair, and just move the body. Do something, a little something, as often as you can during the day to get the body moving. It does get better. The weight will come off. You'll feel better and can do more each, you know, each and every week. It just gets better. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for for watching. Please like comment and subscribe and I will see you next week.